the first step here is to pre-wrap your gift, so to speak. And what I mean by that is just pre-wrapping the ribbon around your gift to get an idea of where the ribbon tails are gonna lie. So where the ends of those ribbons are gonna, gonna end up. So I just kind of did a test bow with my ribbon. And then you want to make sure that you leave long enough tails on that bow so that you have room to add um, your vinyl words or images or whatever. And so if you have to retie the bow a few times, that's just fine. And then I had measured, you know, the area that I had to work with for my tail end here. And then I went into Cricut Design Space and I just added some words. So this was a birthday gift, so I just wanted to put happy birthday and the birthday girl's name, which was Olivia. Don't be afraid to, one, unlock the uh, element dimensions here to play around with height and width and to change up your letter spacing, whether to make it uh, wider or tighter, just to match the dimensions of your ribbon. And here's a little tip when you're working with script fonts. Ungroup the words so that you can move individual letters around for the perfect letter spacing and then diffuse the words back together. You just highlight all the letters and weld them. And then it's time to cut and weed your uh, words, so be sure to just mirror your image and then cut out on Cricut Machine of your choice. So here I've got my words and I'm just weeding them. I really would recommend using no narrower than a one inch fabric ribbon just because weeding can be kind of hairy if you use anything smaller and your letters get really tiny. It just depends on your comfort level with weeding small um, graphics. And then I pulled back out my present and I just halfway untied the bow here so that everything was kind of still in place and I wanted my tail ends to maintain the same length. And then you just use your heat press on whatever heat setting came with the instructions of your heat transfer vinyl. And then once I peeled away that plastic backing, I gave it one more shot with the heat press just for a few seconds to help set the vinyl. Now all that's left is to retie your bow and you're in business. So here's a cute little birthday gift idea that I put together. You can also use this on all sorts of other types of gifts. Gifts. So here is a wine bottle that I put together as like a neighbor or a housewarming gift. You just wrap a wine bottle with a tea towel or a kitchen towel and tie it around the neck with a ribbon. And these were graphics that came free in Cricut Design Space. And then if you want to do vinyl all the way around the ribbon instead of just on the tail ends, you can do that as well. Like I did for this Christmas gift, just remember that the smaller the ribbon and the longer your words, the more weeding you're gonna have to do. So bear that in mind. But that's it, so head over to thecrazycraftlady.com for a complete written tutorial and supply list. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.